Hey, you're with Chris in Aiken, South Carolina, Car Cave USA, www.carcaveusa.com. 803-262-4742 if you call us. It's either me or Jennifer that answers the phone. So, pretty easy. Um, we like doing Defenders. We have some cool eclectic cars, but we do a ton of Defenders. Probably 35% of our inventory. So we know them real well. Um, this one, we actually know extremely well. We bought it overseas. It's a 1990 2.5 liter turbo diesel. It's all original paint. We bought it from the original owner. And then I sold it to a friend. He traded it back for one of these Land Cruisers, KZJ70. So he was a little big for the Defender. He's about 6'4", if you're taller sometimes with the bulkhead in there, you don't fit too well. Um, good maintenance history. We've done a lot of maintenance to it. Uh, I always like to see original paint. So a rather unmolested, real original on steel wheels, the Michelin 750 R16s. You know, not a ton of mods. You got some light guards and a rubber mat in the back. That's uh, about the extent of mods, a trailer hitch, which is a OEM accessory. Uh, headliner was replaced. And you got the mat here in the back, which is installed, but it's rare to see a Defender here stateside without rear seats in it. Because the chicken tax, if you don't have rear seats, is 25% duty on entry. Uh, we brought this over years and years and years ago. Our friend Bo had it, and then we actually took it back on trade, sold it to another Bo, and that Bo didn't drive it, um, his father. So I bought it back from him, which you know it's always good when you don't even have to go see a car and you say, yeah, I'll buy it back. It's a clean, it's a quality Defender. It's well sorted. We know it, um, you know, not perfect. There's some paint imperfections, but it's also, you know, things you want to see like the rear cross member. It's in good shape. The frame's in good shape. You see the original spot welds, you know, there's a little corrosion here and there. There's obviously going to be some dents and dings and scratches but it's super original. Um, we did do an LED lighting upgrade, so your marker lamps, turn signals, your brake lights in the rear, your rear fog lamp, and your reverse light, and then the lights in here. Uh, we did the timing belt, injection pump, we did a rear pinion seal, a rear pumpkin seal, we did the front axle, the hub seals, but doing the injection pump and the timing, the 19J motor runs really strong. Spools nicely, go to goes down the road. Uh, you know, it runs like it should. Has 105,000 miles or so. And we have a uh, document history on it. So we have the mileage report from overseas. You can see where we're in the injection pump. So just well loved, well taken care of. The first bow that owned it here stateside, he did AMS oil in it. He was going through and um, driving it and working on it. But I think we'll call him Bo One. They owned it. He has seven Land Rovers. So he decided to go to the Toyota dark side with us. I always like the original graphics. A lot of people don't appreciate them, but you know that it's original paint because on the reproduction graphics, they changed the font. Seats are in good condition. Um, you know, dash is all intact. The headliner was redone. Head visors are clean. And this is something odd, the center console being wide. Normally they're kind of narrow and taller. This one's wider. I'm not sure where it was sourced from, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, like I said, it's complete. The windows go up and down easy. You know, the tracks are lube. There's not resistance. All the owners have taken care of it. So it's a clean, honest Defender. We get a door shut that we know the history on. We've met, I guess, every owner of the car since it was new. Um, another weird thing is it has fixed side glass. If you have, ever have a Defender, the side sliding windows, they always rattle unless you rebuild them or replace them. Full size spare on the back. Has the LT77 five speed, you have the LT230 transfer box. Your windows are smooth. It's 
show you. Um, it's just a good all around unmolested, clean, well maintained, ready to drive Defender. So that's one of the things we appreciate. It's hard to find low miles, nice, clean, you know, enthusiast owned. And the guy that we got it from, the first owner sold body parts for Land Rover to body shops. And so he got all OEM parts when he was servicing it. Same with Bo One. Um, Bo Two, the owner, all the service work we did in house. So, like I said, we know it. So, if you have any questions, call us, email, carrier pigeon, whatever you fancy, social media, DM. We usually respond. Um, so, our contact info is on our YouTube channel. But again, www.carcaveusa.com, 803-262-4742. And the other stuff we have floating around here is this nice 300 TDI. Um, that's a V8 Defender, a KZJ77, 329 Touring, Integra Type R. This nice little guy, which is an excellent driver. It's out of Sweden. You know, all new interior, new top. 3000 GT V or 4, 6 speed, um, need to get to 454 SS. You have a bunch of KZJ 73s, a V8 Defender 90 in the corner, 2002 TII, a Renault, R5, or Renault 5 GT Turbo, W460 G Wagon, a Patrol, a Panda 4x4, a VJ75 Troopy, KZJ70, a W123 Coupe Diesel, EK4 Honda. Which that's what this one is too. So the V16A2, RS2000 Escort, old 427 four speed vet. Um, poke it out here, 3600 Chevy. You got a V8 Defender. So all of our V8s are factory built, they're not swap cars. So the chassis number matches. It was left hand drive V8 built. Taking this one to the beach tomorrow. And we have his twin here in blue. We're cutting some windows in the, doing panoramic glass back there. You got HJ61, another Defender, another Defender, another Defender down there. So we stay a little bit busy. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. We have more Defenders coming daily.